What is happening, you guys? Blast Hugs so back with another video. You see this correctly. We are in the new Canis Camacho Jeep. It is one of the new vehicles that was added just this morning on Southern San Andreas Auto. As you can tell, I've got Reaper here in the party with me this morning. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I have me and Pyro, or sorry, my god, I did it again. <laughs> sorry guys, I've been having a real problem. Me and Lasso here are one of maybe a handful of people right now who actually have this truck because of the fact that we stayed up all night to wait for it to release so we could get it the minute it was released. Uh, mine is fully decked out. His is fully decked out, but his is down the road. Um, we're going to take this thing. And hopefully go up Mount Chiliad with it if she'll handle it, man. Yeah, Don't know if she's got the kind of power yet. I had to leave mine at the shop to uh, kind of get the mechanic to do some extra modifications to it. But, um, yeah, you heard right. We're going to take this thing up Mount Chiliad to see if she handles. We have already taken it through my favorite place, the military base mud hole. And it handled it fairly well. Um, it just doesn't like to go through the mud hole in second year because it tends to bog out, but All right. Yeah, uh, the, I'll tell you this much the best way to do that is is to uh, You know try not to get the hood under the water there lasso. Yeah, that, 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 that might work But <laughs> okay, all right, so let's get going. Here we go All right, look, I'm hoping she's gonna make it dude. This, oh my god as you guys um, can tell we're starting at the log yard and we're going all the way up if we can make it I think she'll make it. Sorry, we're a couple of rednecks that enjoy big trucks with big wheels. I just took a wrong turn. <laughs> you know, slider in reverse here. I didn't see that road. It's dark and I'm half blind. Get over it. <laughs> hey, you're in my shoes for once. <laughs> exactly, dude. My left eye is still messing with me. My right eye is fine, but my left eye is just like, ugh. Which makes it hard to see out of one eye. It makes it actually hard to see out of both eyes here, but oh, you were so lucky she's you seen... just crossed the tracks because there's a train back there. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay, guys. Well, we're starting to head into the more up and the up and down of this. Um, she's making so far. She's handling pretty good. Uh, suspension. Like I said, I've still got the stock suspension on this thing because. I didn't want to lower her down because of the fact that I didn't want her getting stuck on anything that can get underneath it. Yep. By the yep. way, this is Big Bessie. This is Bessie. I know some guys would give their left two lug nuts for something to work with Bessie, but you know, I get to do it today, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, she's handling pretty decent. She's got good power, good torque. Um, she's not bouncing all over the place like I, like I thought she would. What are you thinking over there, lasso? Fucking asshole. Well, I that little, oh. that little scrape kind of threw us off, but you got it. Yeah, that turn is a bitch. I don't care what vehicle you try to bring up here. You're always going to end up doing that unless you go really wide with it. And it's hard to do that in that one spot. Woohoo! Sorry, that was just for the fans a little right. bit there. That was an intentional hit. That was an intentional hit. That was not an accident. I intentionally did that. Just kind of make it a little bit more suspenseful. Um, actually, where are we? Let me, I'm going to look at something. I'm not going to attempt anything. I'm just looking because I don't think she'd go up that wall. Nah, she's not going to go up the wall. Okay, guys. Sorry to tell you. Oops, I can get her to stop here. Stop, you big... Damn it, woman! You were, wor you were bad. Okay, we're going to do this in reverse if she'll go. Oh, my God. I have just... Oh, oh! No wonder I can't move. I'm sitting on a rock. You see them front wheels spinning like that, man? Yep. This vehicle oh, is all-wheel drive, so this does help with some of your, I guess, off-road applications. You let her get. Uh, does she catch traction? She normally does. She's gonna spin a little bit. No, nope, she's not gonna catch traction in reverse like that. I'm gonna have to try to spin her. I just destroyed that front end. How about that? Right. Not a scratch, not a light out of place or out, period. Oh, yeah, there she goes. You're going to have, you ain't going to be able to ease her up that hill. You're going to have to lay on that gas, especially the way I just had to do it. 
The big test comes at the end when we see how well she handles rolling down the mountain because I'm not driving down this big motherfucker. <laughs> right. But that's going to be just for you guys. Ooh, this is going to be just for the fans. These, these hairpin turns are really getting me a little bit there. All right. Okay, we're going to ease on her a little bit. Yeah, I went with the side, uh, up the side exhaust there because I like the stack look on her. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you went with the same uh, exhaust, didn't you, Lasso? Yeah, I did go with the same exhaust because it just, it, it looks better. And plus, if you do what we did earlier and take it through a really deep hole, your best help is to not have your exhaust underwater. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to flood that engine block, man. Ooh, I had to get on her a little bit there. She didn't want to move. All right, there we go. There we go. Some of those straight up hills like that, man, uh -oh. you got to lay down on her. No, I let off the gas. That's fine. I let off the gas on that. I had to scratch my arm. And I didn't want to try to go up. Well, we have made it pretty much to the top here. Uh, here, we're going to take a little detour. She's going to go up this way. I won't make her go. That was Locked from a in, dead stop, go. too. <laughs> All right. Well, as you can see, she'll go up Chiliad. Let's go get her lined up for the big fun part here before we do this. Um... Uh -oh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen and uh, right. children, we'll, don't try this at home. We'll see you guys. <laughs> we'll, we'll, see, we'll actually see you guys on the way back down. We're gonna take a couple screenshots, and then we'll get right back with you. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back after setting up and getting a couple screenshots. Uh, those screenshots will be found either at the beginning or end of this video, depending on when you watch it. Um, it survived the drive up. Now let's see if we can make it down in one piece. Yes. Let's hope we don't explode on the way down. Yeah, we're going to take her easy over this hill. We're not going to launch her just yet because I want to kind of line her up a little bit. It was already hard. Okay, here we go. Yeah! Gotta go, dog. <laughs> oh my God, the bounce! Oh, oh we saved her. It's, can we hold it all the way down? Though that is the question. Oh, 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 oh! Tree. Oh, that <laughs> landing though. Right. That landing, bro. Damn. Go, Boke. Oh, oh. damn. <laughs> I, you no, saw what no, I was going no. for. <laughs> <laughs> you saw what I was going for, though, didn't you, man? Yep. You know the sad part about it is that hole right down, I think all we lost was a fucking headlight. <laughs> we lost a headlight. Um, that's pretty much all the damage she took. Of course, we didn't really take a hard tumble because she bounced a lot off those rocks and off the fucking landings and shit. Well, but uh, let's let's take it right over here to the customs before he ends this little video. That way, y'all can at least take a look at his. If I can get around this fucking train. Oh, damn! There went the other headlight. Yep. <laughs> and there's a windshield gone now. <laughs> Forget the fence. <laughs> what fucking fence? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I finally knocked the bumper loose. Yeah. Now you can uh, hop out and go show them yours. You know, just uh, make sure everybody knows we don't have twin looking trucks. We're just good friends and we hang out and jack out, jack up our trucks, jack out. Jesus Christ, that sounded gay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, anyway. No, not like we're against gay people. You know, but people as you guys gay can tell, else. I went with a little bit different of a setup. I mean, the bar and stuff are the same. And I was going to say, you might want to back up just a little I'm bit. Trying to, there you I'm go. trying to do something. I was actually going to park uh, right behind you. Okay. You can actually see the bar, the bar and... Oh! <laughs> Well, there goes the tail light. <laughs> what, on my truck or yours? Mine. 
You can, you Did guys I seriously can get... knock out your tail light? Yeah. You can actually uh, tell the uh, bar. Yeah, the bar and a lot of the setup is the same, with the exception of a couple things. The stock tires are still the same. And just on top of the truck you go. Um <laughs> sorry guys, I like to crawl on top of her, she's that good. <laughs> if you guys can tell, I have the what I call the bar frame doors, which are these. It's I like, actually have the same doors he has. I just don't uh, yeah. pop them open just to show people, you know. But you have an option of whether you can put a box in the back, bags or something, bags, and you have a utility hood, which has a shovel and a axe on the front of it, which I don't have that on the front. Cause, I, mean, I do it, not either. It takes the it takes up the hood space. But I will say this for the truck: um, as far as your liveries go, um, you've got a big selection for this for this particular truck. You've got a big selection of them. You actually have for you rednecks out there that love your camouflage. There is a camouflage, and I mean like a real tree camouflage livery for this truck. And it is there called is... Redneck Tuxedo. So yes, it is awesome like that. Um, the other thing for this truck, I've got to say that I like personally, uh, I like the fact that it sounds good, but also I have to show you all something on the inside. If it's not too bent up here, hold on. Uh, let's find the hood. Tell me that that engine does not look good in that truck. Seriously. Hang on, let me. Wee. Jump up on the back of my truck here. Here, let me. I don't want to turn. You got to get over here where they can see it. Yeah. Uh, Tell me the engine does not look good in that truck, though. Ugh. Yeah. Wee. Just walk over here in front of the truck, dude. No. Well, you know, these trucks do You're sit up kind of high. They do, but if you get up close enough to it, you can actually show it. But yeah, the front of that. Look at that, dude. That is, yeah, that that's, is a nice truck. That's a massive engine block for what's underneath this hood. Looks like it's got dual uh, air. Dual dude, cars. it does. It's no, it's got the yeah, pretty much. It's got dual. It's oh my god. But like I said, she is 100% power, man. Like I, as soon as I got the truck, I pulled it out of my facility when I bought it. Uh, I hadn't done anything to it yet, and my inner Tim Allen came out. I swear to God, I was like Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Arr! <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but if you guys want to I will show you before the end of the video because we've got both trucks in the parking lot uh, you can <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing with my truck <laughs> um, you can find the Canis Camacho on Southern San Andreas Auto and I'll show you here right now for three hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. Whoa! Wait, what? Three hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. Um. Apparently, I on? bought it, and it. Oh, there it is. I passed it. <laughs> but you can you find bought it, it. It disappeared. You can find it here, as you can see. I'm gonna give you a zoom in look on the picture. It is for three hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. So if you have the money to spare, I like recommend if you want it, pick it up. If not, you know I that's, would, that's your loss. Well, but I would really recommend it for an off-road vehicle. I would, I would recommend it for off-roading. Hell, I would recommend it for taking your girlfriend out on a date. But that's just me. Uh, before you guys go though, because I know a lot of you are probably gonna buy it and you're not gonna like it. I'm gonna take it in and I'm gonna tell you guys the resale value on it. Uh, actually, well, hell, the resale value on it is more than what you paid for. You're going to get $353,000 back on it. For so resale. if you or fully... Actually, no, it's less. Yeah, it's fucking more than what you paid for it. But, but you got to think you put, you know, all the upgrades and stuff into it. For those of you who don't have all the upgrades for it, it's probably not going to be that much. But uh, for, for those of you who, you know, buy it, fully upgrade it so you can get the full experience of the truck... It's probably, you know, once you fully upgrade it, if you don't like it, you're going to get, you're not getting that much back from it because you're only going to get maybe 
I say it's three hundred forty five thousand, it's three hundred and fifty three thousand on resale value, so Oh you can put side steps on this thing too, but I'm not putting the side steps on it. I I've got the it. side steps on mine. It looks good to me. I don't know. I may take um, them off. But anyway. But yeah, it's like I said, for those of you who like I, what we'll have to do is we'll uh we'll I'll get Lasso to buy another one and we'll figure out what the uh resale value is for it fully stocked, but you know, well, that'll come later. So, what did you do to put the, like, military box in the back of yours? Uh, where you go to, when you go down, hold on, let me go all the way Ooh, back up roll here. cage. Uh, I have, yeah, uh, the roll cage is what I've got on the back of mine right now. Um, but actually, it's where you, you go down, it's going to be right above turbos, it's called Bedliners. You go, it's called the Durbar Rack uh, Weapons Crate. Uh... They've also got the Durbar Rack. Durbar rack ammo box. They've got the utility upgrade, which has got a shovel and an axe. Or actually, it's got a two shovels in it. I think. No, it's a shovel and the axe. Uh, then they've got the one that's got the duffel bags in it, in the back of it, like yours has. The other one, the two, you've got the stock bed liner, and then you've got like a ridge uh, bed liner in the back of it too. But that's you know, like I said I put the. Uh, I put the the uh, fucking weapon crate in the back of my truck. Um, I left the suspension all the way up because, like I said earlier, I didn't want the uh, back. I didn't want it dragging. And uh, when you go off road, it will drag, and it'll also put your hood and everything under the water if you try to go through water with it real quick. Because I know a lot of us, you know, we try to make that quick run across the river or whatever, just to, you know try to get away from the cops or if we're just out having fun or whatever and so I got the weapon crate in the we'll back of mine because it actually look it actually looks pretty cool it does um I'm actually fixing to do something to mine because I don't the matte black just drive me nuts it just looks too bad um, I'm actually going to show off one of the libraries for it as soon as I finish the respray on it um the question is what would the library do if it was uh, the red like mine it would probably still look decent um, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to do the one I originally wanted to. Well, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. That one works. I'm actually going to leave the secondary black, though, because it looks yeah. decent that way. Yeah, that's what I did with mine. And then I'm going to go do this real quick. What's the roof supposedly do? Like... Uh, that just takes the uh, rag top cover off the top of it, really. And it actually, it looks decent, but at the same time, it doesn't either. I'm actually going to take a look real quick, though, because with me changing the color, I don't know if it's secondary or if it's primary, so i got to go look. Cause I you just have uh, no roof and stock roof. Yeah, the no roof, depending on what your secondary is, is either gonna like if you go with a matte black like I did, it's gonna be black, or if you go with the chrome, it'll be chrome. Um, yeah, I'm honestly that? thinking, what do you think, roof or no roof, man? Uh, I don't know. If we're wanting to like strip this down for off road, I'd say no roof. Is that what you're going to go with? Because if but, you are, I'll probably do the same thing just because, fuck it, why not? Uh, yeah, we'll go with no roof. We can always change it back at a later date. Yeah, it's really not that expensive. That's like, I think, the least expensive thing on this truck as far as uh, doing that. Right, um, so Let me look at the skirts real quick, though, because I need to look. Because like, you've got the regular the stock step bars that are on the side of it. I went with the secondary slat skirt for it, which is your... Uh, Full step bar instead of having the duels, you've got the single, but it's uh, oh, it still looks steps. decent. Yeah, I can't do that yet because I don't have the chrome unlocked yet. I'm gonna have to work on that. But all right, I'm pulling mine out now. Um, I'm gonna pull her on out here. Oh, yeah, she looks good that way. She looks good. She's stripped down, which means she's not gonna be as heavy. All right, so. But it also, if y'all notice, she's got the uh, long wheelbase on her. She's got the wide wheelbase. She's not like she's. It's like it's a full four-door vehicle, but it's kind of like if you look at the uh, wheelbase of the uh, Sand King XL, it's got that wheelbase, oh. but it's got way more power. It's not. Dude, that nearly looks as... nasty without the roof. Why is that? What, mine or yours? <laughs> Both. Like, it just gives it that freaking badass look to it. Look at mine, though. I got the fucking military setup on it, though, with the fucking matte green and the, uh, 
matte black on it. Look at that. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, I ha I have to do it. Leave your favorite one in the comment section down below. Hashtag Reaper for his Jeep. Hashtag Lasso for mine. <laughs> well, if you're going to do that, you got to give them a full walk around of my Jeep and then give them the full walk around of yours. Well, they've already seen mine. So. Yeah, they need to see mine. As you can tell, he's got the no roof set up like I just recently put on mine. He has the course, matte green with the weapon crate in the back for extra storage you know you got to keep ice somewhere <laughs> um yeah got to keep the cold beer somewhere right <laughs> right um Hold he's got here. the i gotta look the part here while he's doing that i gotta look the part here he's got the uh double shoot my jeep's in the way <laughs> um he's got like the side slats for the steps which are not really too bad uh, hey get away from my truck <laughs> <laughs> But um, mine is pretty much the same setup except for a couple things. I don't have the, uh, I'm still running the stock side steps. As you can tell, he's got the military star. Let me pull a redneck maneuver. You can tell he's got the military. <laughs> you can tell he's got the military star on the hood, so that actually looks legit cool. Um. Pretty so, much what he's saying is, is y'all should pick mine and right, piss on his. Like, right, I'm fixing right, to walk right, over here and right. piss on his tire right now. Yeah, like, he's going to go pee on my tire. <laughs> 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 but if you guys want to see a full in-depth customization video, always remember, if you want to see more GTA content, drop a like on the video. Leave it a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. And like I said, favorite Jeep, hashtag Reaper, hashtag Lasso in the comment section. And whoever and also, who, whoever does win ahead. this contest, if you want to see more vehicle contests like this and related to off-road or anything like that, let us know down in the comment section. Go check out Reaper's channel as well. He does yeah, some Reaper pretty good Gaming, content. Yeah, Reaper Gaming, man. Reaper Gaming. I've got good content. I'm also going to be doing a lot of collab videos with Lasso here because he's my homie. Um, or should I say he's my fellow redneck? Wow, oh. take that the job, boy. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> my guy's ready to fight now, man. Anyway, like I said, just go, uh, go to my channel, drop a like on any of my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you know when I'm having fun and when I'm doing streams. <laughs> yeah, that was a straight miss, miss homie. <laughs> that was an air punch. But, and uh, yeah. this is the Reaper saying good night, and the Reaper is always watching. Y'all have a good one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, you want to see a full customization video, let me know in the comment section down below. But for now, it's time for us to go. Catch you later.